and stuff. Now, was you here at the time Craig was here, or uh, Keith was here when this went down, or no? I just missed Keith by a week. Okay. I was just wondering if you were, because technically you're our city engineer. Yes, sir. And I was just curious if you were here at the time of this process, going out to bid or the scope of work and all that. No, sir, I was not. Okay. And Councilwoman Pass, I can appreciate that. Unfortunately, with the timing of this project, things were moving very fast. And a savings of $1.6 plus million dollars is a lot of money. That is a whole lot of money. You understand that. that is an amount of money that the city of Taylor and its residents can't afford. That's four street sweepers. <laughs> yes. And, you know, in, in Councilman Missouri, you mentioned earlier that the 2008 project was a failure. I think the mayor said that, but we'd have to rewatch the video. Okay. Because <laughs> that process. I could redo Goddard and Party about Charlie, four times. I think Charlie or Butch agreed and wanted somebody was going to go after this company, but they went out of business. Was the discussion, but neither here nor yeah. there. No, that company's still in yeah. business, and they're actually one of the largest paving companies in the in the country. They're very large, and they've been doing that process for about geez, 40, 40 plus years, 50 years. Uh, um, and the discussion that we had that day was just not an accurate description of what got done. Sure. Sure. Them. Um, You're told yeah. they're long gone and they that, don't do that anymore. That uh, <laughs> that project was 32 miles. The amount of road work that we're doing out here right now is 25, give or take, lane miles. But the only thing is, too, is you, you keep talking about the amount of money. That was 2000 what? Six? Eight? So... I'm glad you brought that so up. So I'm sure asphalt was a lot cheaper back then. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, Councilman. Because okay. um, I ran the numbers on today's numbers, and it bumped it up to about 7,500. Okay. I increased the hot and place paving method, <coughs> and I also increased the asphalt value. So it went from redoing it from about four and a half times, almost five times. Well, okay, we can redo it three and a half times. But a majority of the cost, too, was the underlayment you know, like the cement work and stuff like that. Which gets to, we should have removed that concrete and put in a, a whole brand new cross section mm -hmm. that's going to last a true engineered road design of 20 years. A, a true asphalt roadway only has a design life of 20 years. Concrete has a design life of 30 years. So I, I still call the question, how we can, out of a resurfacing project, get the design life of 20 years, which an asphalt, true asphalt roadway only has a design life of 20 years. We're building on a base that's 52 years old. It rocks and it rolls. It has poor drainage. It has no under drain. You might as well pay it on a sponge. Sure, we got, we got comments, too? Yeah. So, is there any other? I'll be happy to answer additional questions. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think the mayor wanted to hear something. I don't know if yeah, just to Mr. Hennessy, you'd like to come up and just come talk real quick if you've ever um, used. Charlie, are you referring to comments about this or something? No, else? we no, have. We have other comments. Yeah. Through the chair, um, I would. We we've used crack relief layers, and they've been used in. Uh, a variety of different applications. The county doesn't use them. Uh, we've spoken to the county. We, we've we been in business, this is our 50th year in business, so if this gentleman has 46 years, I don't know who, who, who is it? The county engineer. Okay, from, yeah. Yeah, and so we spoke with Ron Nagazinski about this. He's the current deputy director. But I would uh, recommend that you talk to, that the council, we could set up, a study session with Chuck Mills, you know, from the Asphalt Paving Institute. We actually brought them down here specifically to a site visit to a look at it, and it does require some special geometry and site conditions for it to be applicable. But it was well discussed on what we were what we were doing and what we were looking to achieve with the 20 year um, the 20 year design life. And I'm I'm hearing, you know signs of, you know, it's 1.6 million, it's going to turn into 3 million. Well, the, and Craig is right, we have to use more yield now because that crack layer is gone. And 
Uh, so the original yield that we had is going to be increased on those layers from the leveling course and the wearing course. So that's going to eat into the 1.6 million. So you will end up with an average of four inches. So that's has to be removed from the savings that's actually achieved. I'm sorry but, to interrupt you, but Mr. Chairman, someone just messaged me and said the live stream is not working. Yeah, I think so, so they're not seeing it at home. We are doing it on cable, though. Oh, I, I just want to let you know that I had a resident say that it wasn't on live stream. Okay. Sorry to interrupt you. But I know it's getting late, but just in closing, it was definitely well-versed on what was being proposed here and what is present through there. And uh, we have a tremendous amount of confidence in it as well. And uh, we have a whole team of professional engineers that uh, has used it, that uh, have worked on this with the Asphalt Institute. And uh, I would recommend that you contact them where we can set up a study session or what, whatever you, the city so desires. Mr. Chairman, um, I have no, have had, we've had no uh, issues with Hennessy Engineering in the past. I mean, they've, they've been a good partner to the city of Taylor. I, I, I want to make that clear. That's not what I'm alleging or alluding to. My only question is, I, I would just like to know if there's another community that they've spec this in that we can talk to. Not the association. I want to talk to somebody that's used this on a curb and gutter road not an M dot highway. That that's it's. I mean, that's my only only question. They, they have sixty roads. I mean, I, Chuck Mills is the one that's done that. So we have to. Mr. Chairman, that, that, that's not my question. My my question is simply Hennessy Engineering, not Chuck Mills, not the association. I know that the city of Taylor has not used this. Has Hennessy used this specifically? Hennessy Engineering. We have not. We have not used this. And uh, that was well brought out to everybody, Mr. Bach. Uh, the council was well aware of what we were proposing to do through there. And uh, I don't think you can find often geometries, that the site conditions that allow it to, to be done through there. And that's why it was presented through there. But um, I still have a tremendous amount of confidence in the project through there. I think we're going to go ahead and end this discussion for tonight. We'll set up something if council wants to set up a study session or whatever. We'll discuss that. Um, we started uh, at noon. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have some public comments tonight. Um, Michelle, if you're awake, can you come up and... Uh, <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I'd like to have a brief discussion on GFL, too, if we can, before we wrap up. Okay. That's, uh, I am awake, okay. but <laughs> stressing. <laughs> um, so I have three. Uh, public comments for tonight. Um, this one was sent by Chuck Kynes and a thought I would like to share permit food trucks to operate in Taylor much like ice cream vendors are allowed building a better city together Chuck Kynes um, I have one that came in anonymous he would like to know when he can apply for a dispensary license and then the last one I have is our usual Charles Blackwell. Hello, Kwame Kilpatrick was released a year ago for public corruption. Eric Sollers, community development manager within the next few years for public corruption and Taylor um, will be going to prison. Perhaps the mayor Sollers is released from prison. He will become a pastor like Kwame. Michelle, did you get anything from Rhonda Dan I? I did not. Okay, she just asked me if it was read tonight. She didn't know if she sent it correctly. I'll let her know that you didn't get it. I just double checked our e comments. There was nothing, and I, this, these are the only three emails okay. I got. She just messaged me. Okay, thank if you. she wants to send it directly to me, I could maybe read it the next one. Okay. Councilman okay. Zura, you want to talk about GFL? Well, I just didn't know if we could get an update. I, I, I just in the last day or two, Mr. Lyons, you may not even have received it, but I was looking for an update. Number one, there was a residence that, that I think her 70-year-old mother has been asking for a container. Don't expect you to drive out the container, but I know GFL is supposed to do that if that's been looked into. Um, we're all reading the multiple stories about many area communities having the same problem we are, so I know they're pulling their ha hair out like we are, but I only care about us. Um, and, and that would roll into the whole concept of um, liquidated damages and, and whether or not we're aggressively applying the terms and conditions of the contract so that when GFL doesn't do what we're paying them to do that liquidated damages are assessed every time that happens. 
Sure. Um, likewise, because quite honestly, Council, I'm tired of getting the phone calls myself. Um, and Council Member, I wish you could have been here last night because we did have a representative from GFL.